Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Colonel Tom Barrett, Garrison Commander for the Army here in Hawaii. And with me tonight is the Garrison Command Star Major Mike Oliver. Good evening. Before we start and go into our updates, I want to address the uh, intermittent power outages. And so to the Schofield community, I know these continue to be an issue. And especially today when I think there was at least four, maybe five power outages. For that, you have my apologies. This disruption is something you should not have to live with or deal with. But we are working to address the situation. And as I mentioned earlier in the week, there's a contractor who's going to be coming out. We've been able to accelerate his timeline, so we anticipate him being there tomorrow to troubleshoot the system. I appreciate your understanding as we work to prevent the problem from reoccurring in the future. We will continue to keep you posted on the results and the status of the power station. The current health protection condition remains at Bravo. The state announced 17 new COVID cases today. This brings Hawaii's total to 851 positive cases and still 17 COVID-related deaths. Like many other states, Hawaii is seeing increasing trends as we reopen. Since last Tuesday, the state has reported 115 new cases, the vast majority which are on Oahu. Many of us, including myself, are suffering from what we would call COVID fatigue. It's tiring. This has taken its toll on all of us, but we must continue to do what's necessary and right to keep ourselves and our community safe. We must stay vigilant and we must stay disciplined, especially as travel continues to open up. Yesterday, during the Community Information Exchange, we announced the local leave for soldiers has been extended, expanded from Oahu to the Hawaiian Islands. The governor also announced an update regarding travel into the state. So effective August 1st, passengers entering the state can bypass the state's mandatory 14-day quarantine with an approved negative COVID-19 test. What does this mean for soldiers? Soldiers must continue to follow Army orders and guidance. Currently, all soldiers entering Hawaii, entering the Hawaiian Islands, must enter a 14-day restriction of movement upon arrival. All government-funded travel requires an approved exemption or exception to this policy. We will continue to share updates as they become available, in particular, on any stop-move-related questions. Sergeant Major? Sir, just a couple updates tonight uh, for our housing areas. Uh, the parking, uh, correction, the uh, playgrounds, the uh, basketball courts, the dog parks, and the skate park uh, will all be open uh, as of uh, tomorrow. However, we, we caution you on this as you are playing at your own risk as these things are not cleaned uh, to the standard we would like them to be cleaned to protect all. So as you go out there and enjoy those things, understand uh, what you're dealing with when you go out there and, and play on the playground. Uh, for our pools, uh, for Richardson and Tripler pool, they will open on the 26th. One, uh, on one July, HMR's pool will open. HMR's pool will remain closed due to repairs. Remember, as you go to the pool, there are no guests authorized, um, just the people who are authorized to be there in the first place. For bowling, Schofield uh, Barracks Bowling Center will reopen, a correction open, uh, the snack bar and the bowling center on 1 July. If you need to get your vehicles registered or things of that nature, the satellite uh, City Hall will reopen on 1 uh, July. Now you can go on their website to make appointments or you'll be allowed to go in person. That's it, sir. Thanks, Sergeant Major. I want to say mahalo to everyone who's been slowing down on their morning drives. It's been almost a month since we've kicked off Operation Slowdown on Schofield Barracks. The lower speed limits promote safety for our keiki and soldiers conducting PT. Speeding is an issue around our installations. And together, by following the speed limits, we are making the community a safer place to live, work, and play. So I thank everyone for doing their part and following the reduced speed limits. Sergeant Major, anything, uh, any updates on AER? Yeah, I got one more update on AER. So AER did here in Hawaii about 45% of its goal of 131K um, based on COVID. Uh, so they are asking that we redo part two of AER, which will start on 1 
July and go through the 31st of July. You'll see the signs or thermometers outside all of the installations say where we're saying where we're at as far as tracking the amount of funds that were donated. So uh, we would appreciate your support in that. That's soldiers helping soldiers uh, to get uh, to where we can to help all soldiers. Uh, if you are requesting a loan though, you'll experience longer times because the process is online. So you can expect it'll be a two to three or up to five days before the soldiers will see the money in their account. So uh, if you need it, it will always be there for you, but it will take a little bit longer, sir. Thanks, Sergeant Major. And, and I believe, I think they've also expanded their program. So if you have a child in, I think it's uh, kindergarten through 12th grade, and you paid for school supplies for homeschooling, you may be eligible in up to $500 of financial assistance. And if you visit Army Emergency Relief, uh, there's more information on their homeschool assistance. Next week, the Army is kicking off National Hiring Days. It is a national campaign from 30 June to 2 July. The goal is for the Army to hire 10,000 new soldiers. It's offering recruits potential of a $2,000 bonus and four-year scholarships. There are more than 150 opportunities in science, medicine, and many other fields. You can choose how to serve, whether it's full-time on active duty or part-time with our Army Reserve or Army National Guard. The 25th Infantry Division will be hosting potential recruits next Tuesday, 30 June. You can follow the 25th ID Facebook page to see them experience a day in the life of an Army Hawaii soldier. For more information on the Army's hiring days, go to goarmy.com backslash hiring days. Now today's spotlight on strengths is a little different from normal. Today marks the 70th anniversary of the Korean War often referred to as the Forgotten War. More than one and a half million Americans served in this three-year war, to include our, only tw our own 25th Infantry Division. The division received two South Korean presidential unit citations and participated in all 10 Korean War campaigns. 14 Tropic Lightning soldiers were awarded the Medal of Honor for their heroism and service. We must never forget their service and sacrifice in this war. As we head to the weekend, remember, continue to stay focused on your health. Protect yourself, protect your family, and protect your community. Please message us for any suggestions, comments, or concerns you might have. The Garrison website will provide the latest updates on all openings or anything we've discussed today. Please continue to monitor that for the latest information, home.army.mil backslash Hawaii. We'll see you again next Thursday night. Thank you, and have a great weekend. Have a good night.